Ah, well, we have surmised that the little cylinder liner for our OS Max 21 FSR engine is uh, a bit shagged. And after investigating with Peter from Aritmax, who is, uh, by all accounts, knows all about these things, has been mucking around with them for donkey's years, he remembers the engines, um, basically no chance of getting a new cylinder and piston. And so the choices are really build it, see how long it lasts, or just chuck it in a bin. Well, what's the point in chucking it in a bin? So going to put it all back together, run it, and basically see how long it lasts. It may even last for ages, who knows really. It depends what kind of damage the um, cracking in the cylinder liner, which I've got a close-up photo of here. Um, as you can see, that's the actual hardened coating coming off of whatever this is, a machining or a casting or both, I'm not entirely sure. It isn't going to run that great, um, and if more of it comes up off, um, it's going to yeah, probably bind up, seize the engine, and uh, things are going to go horribly wrong. But we'll just have to um, wait for that day. So, uh, yeah, going to put it back together. This is the, um, the crankcase, obviously. I've pressed the, uh, the little bearing back in and the big bearing back in and the crank, and you can now see that the crank is, yeah, she turns over quite satisfyingly. That's quite smooth and all seems good. So, um, yeah, let's throw it back together. So that's the uh, little piston and the conrod in, and the dubious, to say the least, cylinder liner in. Moving on. Okay. So that's the head or heat sick or whatever you call these things, whack back on. Did I talk it? Did I? No. I just tightened it up. They actually weren't that tight when I took them off, so I just done them up as kind of tight as my little fingers will do with this rather silly little Allen key. Um, that should do it. We're still spinning over pretty happily there. So the next thing to go on is we need to put on the um, this little doohickey here. Rear of the crankcase basically, and as it's a little two-stroke type effort, it needs to be sealed and the original gasket is now in lots of little pieces as you might expect so what i've done is i've uh, created a new one out of paper basically um, <laughs> as best i can i did actually measure the original gasket with vernier calipers <laughs> And um, it came out to around about 0.15 mil thick, which is basically a sheet of standard printer paper. Just to aid that, we're going to use a bit of the super blue Hylamar and a very small amount just to seal everything up and make sure everything's okay. So let's get ahead and um, stick that on. Right, so that's the little uh, rear crankcase thing on. As you can hear, we now have a little bit of a uh, compression, which is good news. So really, the only main thing left to do now is the bit that goes in here. Yeah, <laughs> carburetor. So let's throw the carburetor back together. It's all cleaned up. Uh, yeah, stripped it all down, cleaned it all up. Now it's time to put it back together and put it on the engine. <laughs> well, there we have it. The engine is back together. Carburetor is all built up. Uh, basically, I have no idea what the where what what jet settings I should uh, start off with. I'm going to kind of make that up. In theory, this thing is now ready to run. Um, 
I've got a prop for it. I've even got a little uh, sort of engine mount thing. So yeah, next up, stick it in the engine mount, stick a prop on it, and see if it runs. <laughs>